Yeah, I mean, I think I've had to really just uh, adjust my, my focus and uh, my approach or else I would go crazy, you know. So I've tried to, you know, just worry about the things I control, try to embrace a new challenge and, uh, and, and, you know, work hard every day to get better and embrace that part of it. And, um, you know, I think that's the only approach. If I, you know, have the same approach I've always had, it's going to going to be detrimental so just got to adjust and and that's that's a uh, uh, easier said than done you know sometimes I need a good night's sleep to have that approach again the next day has your future crossed your mind about <coughs> how long you're going to play and is that finish line getting closer with all of these injuries well the finish line is close regardless you know I mean I got 18 months or so of basketball left uh, you know for the most part so you know how much of that 18 months I get to play is crosses my mind every day and every day that I'm I'm out is you know a day lost you know it's not so much that way when you have when you have eight ten years left in a career but when you're at the end like this you know it's you know it, it can put pressure on you and make things obviously uh, different and difficult but uh, like I said I gotta try to be as positive and as engaged as possible every day in, in, in a different you know, set of circumstances and, and try to keep getting better and give myself a chance. Like you said, you went about 10 minutes today. Uh, how did you feel and are you encouraged about a quick comeback? I don't know about a quick comeback, but I was encouraged, uh, you know, to practice today some and to feel okay. And, uh, you know, I have no doubt that I'll get back on the court. I think with all the issues with my with my spine and, and my, my condition, it, it's a matter of how sustainable is it. And so that's what I'm working for every day is to try to build that quality and endurance of my movement so that I don't decline or that I'm not susceptible to, you know, all the demands of the game. What did this past week in Vancouver do for you? Well, it got me back on the court. You know, I went from not being able to practice to being able to practice, um, and I made a lot of improvements. Do you, I guess, comparatively, do you, do you feel similar to training camp, better or worse? How, how uh, that's a good question. You know, so long ago, I mean, I had so many different little injuries pop up that, uh, you know, Although I felt like I'd overcome the nerve issues, you know, I think when you're playing with, you know, a tweaked ankle or back spasm or, or a thigh bruise, you know, it, 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 it aids and abets that, that, you know, poor movement that allows that nerve root to, to become impinged. And so, um, you know, it's difficult to kind of translate um, or, or compare, but, uh, you know, I'm on the right path and I, and I improved a great deal this week. Now we're schedule to moving forward from here. You know, Coach Steve Beck is coming today, hoping mm -hmm. for 20 tomorrow. Is it hoping for them 30 to next year? What's the schedule? Yeah, I don't know if I could give you like the actual minutes, but definitely it was great to get up and down today for 10 minutes, and tomorrow hopefully more, whatever that is. And without setbacks in the morning or the next day, you know, I'll just keep progressing. And at this point, you know, I don't. You know, it's unfortunate. It's such a tricky situation because I think typically you'd say, okay, you practice 10 today. If I practice 20 tomorrow and 30 on Thursday, I'd play on Friday. You know, I think right now everyone's. You know, regardless of how well I practice this week, there's still some other objective and subjective tests to, to make sure that this is sustainable and it's not something that's still as tenuous as it's been recently where, you know, you, you feel good enough to go out and play, you play, and it just deteriorates. So it's, it takes a lot of resolve to continue on that path every day to try to do the right things, to strengthen and give yourself a chance. Is Friday out of the realm of possibility? I don't know if it's out of the realm, but I would say it's probably, you know, very unlikely and very doubtful. Now with Jordan Farmer out, there's an urgency on your part to go back? See, I don't know if I can have that urgency. You know, I think, you know, my nature is to to play through things. I've, I've done that my whole career, but I think that's foolish for me at this stage. You know, if I if I race to come back Thursday, Friday and it's not quite right, I could be out forever or for months. And so I think it's really important whether I can play or not Friday to make the right decisions and not you know, be hasty because I think the, sometimes the staff has to, you know, temper my outlook. You know, I think, oh yeah, I'm feeling good. I want to play Friday, and sometimes they have to be the ones to say that's stupid. You know, you, you're you're jeopardizing the rest of the season by playing too soon. Having said that, you know, who knows what the next few days will hold? Has it been hard not to feel that way, especially with obviously now Jordan? Well, I mean, even before Jordan, I mean, I think you know, for me, it's like, you know, one, you want to be out there. Two, the more. The more games you miss, the longer you're off the court, the farther it feels from the game and, and from losing your touch with your conditioning, your rhythm, your game, which was still, with all the injuries I'd faced you know, or played with throughout the preseason and season, I, I still hadn't felt in touch or in tune with my game yet. So 
You know, it's it's tough. You made some adjustments this year in terms of taking second nights of back to backs off. Are you concerned maybe coming off the bench with George being out, especially kind of being a need for point guard there? I'll do whatever I, I can do to help the team. But the first thing is that I, I got to try to get him in a position where I can sustain the demands of the game. You know, right now, you know, my back is susceptible to those things, and until I really get it in it moving in a way and and consistently and. And it's able to, to, you know, thrive under the demands rather than, you know, be, be affected so greatly as it has been this, the last three or four weeks under the demands. You know, that, that's that's kind of step one. Would you say that you feel about as good as you have since you know, training camp? Since you no, no. I mean, I, this is. I mean, I. I'm not. I'm not in any great position right now. I'm better, you know, but uh, I'm not. You know, this isn't like a. I'm not sitting here saying, you know, I, I, you know, I feel phenomenal. I just feel better, and I'm moving and trending in the right direction. What was the experience like for you to be up in Vancouver while the team was out on the East Coast? It was weird. You know, it was really weird. Um, the only thing that kind of, you know, made it um, acceptable for me, and you know, was that I was improving every day. You know, it was really worthwhile. Uh, I made big strides and. You know, I could feel it every day. The amount of work I could do and sustain and the different things that I could do, you know, it was, it was a huge week for me and gave me a chance. you keep in touch with the guys at all? I, I watched everything. You know, I texted back and forth with the staff, talked to right. Gary a couple times, but, um, you know, I, I didn't really talk to them. You know, I was, I was in the gym twice a day, and usually they were on the court when I was coming home and stuff. So it was, it's tough to, to be so far away.